Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my cleaning routine. Alex and I live in a one bedroom purpose built masonette on the ground floor. So I thought I'd share with you how I clean our entire apartment. I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I like to do is put on a load of washing. I will admit my flat is super messy this time around. I've let it get messy. So I've got lots of things to do and lots of washing to do. So I'm putting a pile in and I'm just using Tesco's simple non-bio detergent and their fabric softener. I really like the smell of this one. And whilst it's running, I will start on the bedroom. First things first, just making the bed, just dusting off any loose crumbs that I come across and just neatening it up and make it that bit tidier. I have no idea why I've chosen in this video to put those pillows at the front, that's not where they go, but I think um, cleaning on cameras made me a little bit nervous. So I've just popped those on there and now I'm clearing everything off of my vanity just so I can give it a nice polish down. I like to use the Pledge Multi-Surface Cleaner. It's a really nice jasmine fresh scent, but it doesn't linger. And I like it because obviously multi-surface, I can just use it throughout the flat. So I'm using it on my glass top vanity and across my mirrors, just dusting and polishing everything down to get all that dust off. That's one thing about this flat is it's super duper dusty. I can't go a day without polishing. <laughs> You just have to stand and face it. I'm just doing the same thing on our chest of drawers. We've got glass top to put on the chest of drawers just because it makes cleaning that bit easier. Just taking off my slippers, wiping down our wooden bed frame and cleaning the bedside table and coaster. My lamps are touch lamps, that's why they switch on when I'm lifting them up. You try to find a way and get forgiveness. Doing the same thing, buffing down the mirror and also just making sure I remove all the fingerprints and smears from our sliding wardrobe doors because they're a gloss finish. When I get into the bathroom, it's much of the same, just clearing away and reorganizing and dusting down all of the surfaces. So I'm starting with the ladder shelf because that's got all of our products on there, just a way of keeping everything neat and compact. So I like to dust and polish all of that down and then try and put everything back in a much more neat and organized way. My cleaning products for the bathroom seem to be blue I just associate blue with the bathroom so I'm using the method toilet cleaner I love method products they smell really great but they're also natural non-toxic they use a lot of natural ingredients to break down the dirt and grime so I'm just swishing around the toilet cleaner in the toilet and then I'm leaving that to sit whilst I work on the rest of the surfaces using the method bathroom cleaner this really nice fresh mint scent and it works really well to get everything sparkling clean. I'm just using a microfiber cloth but this one's from B&M Home and I love it because the back of it has netting so it kind of acts like a scouring pad so I'm really able to get all of the marks and toothpaste marks and everything off of the sink and surfaces. Then I'm going to take a clean microfiber cloth and just buff the tap just to get off those fingerprints and make it super nice and shiny. And I'm gonna do the same with the mirror as well. I really don't care if you are mine. 
everything can look brand new when you buff it down. So I'm gonna again work on my shower, just getting rid of all of the shower marks and just giving it a general clean using that method bathroom cleaner. And I do also like to buff down the outside as well. I love this stuff, the Method Daily Shower Spray in Ylang Ylang. It smells fantastic, and especially because our shower room is small, if you spray this down, it envelops the room in this beautiful fragrance. So the last thing to clean is the toilet. I just spray it down and then I like to use antibacterial wipes because they're disposable. So I just wipe down the entire toilet and bowl. And yes, I prefer to just use my hands because I wash my hands later on and I just feel like gloves will sit there with the collected germs on them. So I just prefer to wipe it down so I know where I'm getting and how I'm getting it. And then I will use my toilet scrubber just to scrub around the bowl to help remove any lime scale and just keep everything nice and fresh. Moving on to our messy living room, this is kind of the office area. Alex has been using it a treat, so there's all sorts of um, papers, letters, post, everything to get through, so I'm just clearing and organising all of that away. And then going back in with the Pledge multi-surface polish and just dusting that down. But also it's got a really nice wood nourisher in there, so quite good for the wooden surfaces. Then I'm going to work on the coffee table, moving everything out of the way, polishing that down as well. And because we're naughty and we sometimes eat on the coffee table, I do have to make sure I wipe down all of the sides. Now I'm just working on the TV and TV stand. I don't like to spray down the TV just because I don't know if the material works with the spray, but whatever I've got left on my microfiber cloth, I just use that to dust down the telly and I haven't had any problems so far. And then just buffing down the TV stand. Now working on our sofa, all of our furniture, or a lot of our furniture and these cushions included, are just our temporary stuff at the moment. We are still configuring um, our furnishings and decor and how we like it. So I'm just taking those down and patting down the sofa, re-fluffing up those back cushions. You wanna do that regularly to stop all of your cushions from getting all sunken down. And then I'm just folding over the throw and I'll come back to that later. So now I want to work on this messy kitchen. I'm taking out my first load of washing, which I'll go and hang out, and I'm quickly going to put in another one because that is how much I need to work through. Love the way we are together. Again, we always say this way. And how I want to build my I'm gonna start by using Barkeeper's Best Friend Power Spray. You can use this pretty much everywhere but it's great for stainless steel, so I'm just spraying down the sink area just to help break down that grime and make it shiny again. I'm just using this scrubber brush from Ikea. You can actually fill it up with soap or whatever liquid you want, but I'm just using it for the purpose of the scour and just scrubbing down that product and making sure it gets in all the crevices. <laughs> Next for the countertops, I'm using Methods Anti-Back. This is in rhubarb, it smells just like rhubarb. It's really nice and sweet. So if you like that, then you'll love this. So I'm just spraying down the surfaces and going in again with a 
microfiber cloth just to buff everything down. Again, this one has the netting at the back, so if I come across any marks, I can scrub it down. The microwave is the only thing that's actually clean. I already washed this all out, so I'm just using whatever's left on my microfiber cloth. Um, and just buffing that down. Again, what I love about the method stuff is it's non-toxic, so I'm not worried about wiping down the inside of the microwave with this product. Then I go ahead and I wipe down all of the front cupboards, the handles, I've got all those sticky marks and fingerprints on, and obviously just getting anti-back on the front of the fridge as well. I love these diffusers, they're from Aldi. They smell just like the Jo Malone ones. So I'm just clearing our little mini dining table and again just wiping down all of the placemats, they're all glass so they're easy to clean and then buffing down the table. For the glass hob or electric hob I'm just using the daily kitchen cleaner from Method. This one's tangerine fragrance, so really, really nice. And it's great at breaking down any grime and stuck on, cooked on things. So I'm just buffing that down. And then I'm using that same microfiber cloth to buff down all of the stainless steel stuff because the daily cleaner actually works really well on that and on the backsplash, again, just getting rid of any grease. Next, I'm going to Hoover. We use this Goodman's two-in-one Hoover. It's the perfect size for our flat. And I just go ahead and Hoover the entire flat. If you ever think it's pointless, I will remind you that it's not. And the world will dance around. And also I love it because it transforms into a handheld. So that's where I'm coming back to the sofa just to hoover it down, look at those beautiful lines and get in between the sofa cushions and get out any dust and dirt and food particles that have fallen in between. The last thing for the deep clean is to use my steam mop. Because we have laminate flooring, I don't like to use a mop and bucket, otherwise it will blow the joints, but I like to do a light steam mop. So you can see the steam that's coming out of there, really beautiful, really great at getting rid of dirt and grime, muddy footprints, etc. but it doesn't seep too far into the wood. So this is the Dirt Devil 3-in-1 um, steam mop which you can also use as a handheld. So I just like to mop the living room, kitchen and the bathroom. I don't like to use it in my bedroom again just because it's tightly spaced. I use a floor wipe for my bedroom. The last thing is to take out the bin because I usually empty out whatever's been in the bagless vacuum into there. So that's why it's my last task. Empty all the bins in the house from the bathroom and the bedroom. And then that is it. That is my deep weekly clean if I've let it get super duper messy. That was my first time filming a cleaning routine. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and hopefully I can improve on how I film it and show you around my flat. If you guys have any product recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below because I'm always on the hunt for new cleaning stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.